Hey everybody, it's Sagittarius Little Tarot here. I'm going to go ahead and do your um, Wednesday, what, what's the date today? The 20th reading for Aries to Pisces. Okay, I'm going to kind of see what you're uh, dealing with today. What kind of energy is going on with, uh, like around you and stuff like that. I'm going to do some Romance Angels as well as the Zodiac cards um, to see who you're dealing with. Okay, so this can resonate with everybody or just take what does. Just doing a general reading, okay? I'm going to clarify as well. Okay. And I think what I'll do as well is I'm going to shuffle a song for each sign to kind of see like if that song like resonates with the reading. I've kind of been doing that lately with my readings, kind of uh, playing music and seeing what song resonates. So I'll do that as well. But thank you for everybody who's been uh, watching my videos and subscribing and everything. I'm slowly starting to get more people, so that's great. Makes me happy. Okay, so I'm going to do one more shuffle, and then I'll shuffle a song for Aries. Shoot. Okay. All right, let me get my phone. So, Aries, let me get a song on shuffle for today. Okay, it's kind of, um, okay, so Lucky by Britney Spears. Okay, so you could be coming into a bunch of luck. This is a throwback song, but you could be coming into a bunch of luck, or you could be, um, today having maybe like a sad day where you kind of are just down and out, and you feel like, um, like people don't really understand kind of what's going on in your life. Like maybe you look like you have it all, when really you feel like you have nothing. Like maybe things aren't going so well for you. And people kind of judge you and like, well, your life seems perfect. And then they don't really know how you feel deep down, you know. Let me get a sip of coffee. But yeah, Aries, your song's Lucky by Britney Spears. It's like, maybe you're sick of the same old routine. Let me get an overall um, card for the energy for today. Maybe you feel like you have the same routine and your life's kind of feeling just like blah, you know. Okay, so you have the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you want a new opportunity, maybe when it comes to your finances. Okay. Or you um, haven't maybe learned any lessons when it comes to finances. Let me get more into it. Okay. Let me get one more shuffle, and then I'm going to clarify the page of pentacles for Aries here. Okay. Alright, why is the page of pentacles here? <clears throat> okay, you got the five of swords in the reverse. Okay, so it's like you're not wanting any conflict when it comes to this opportunity. Could be dealing with an earth sign or an air sign here. Three of pentacles in reverse. I feel like you cut something out due to like lack of feeling like something wasn't fair like you want a new opportunity because you felt like something maybe wasn't fair or somebody was like betraying you backstabbing you maybe they were taking money behind your back okay with the judgment in reverse i feel like you are ending something here um you're putting an end to something because you just feel like it's over and you're not really getting anything from the situation you're not maybe somebody lied and um they were like could be like somebody was working like for you or something and they were like taking a bunch of your money or like not splitting the money that you had an agreement for something. I feel like it has to do definitely with like money here. That like you just feel like something that isn't fair. Somebody's taking money from you or something. Or if you were like doing like a deal, it didn't go as planned and that person ended up kind of screwing you over. Yeah, right, let's get more into Aries today. Make the effort, okay? So that's your advice for today. Uh, could be like new love too. It could be also you're just putting an end to a relationship as well. It doesn't have to be money related. Release an ex, yeah. So it could be with the three of pentacles in reverse. It could be you uh, getting rid of somebody. Like the judgment in reverse. It's like you're running out of time when it comes to a situation. You're just kind of like, okay, this is over. Maybe you feel like that person's taking money from you. Could be a relationship. All right, what sign? Could Aries be dealing with here? But I feel like there is kind of not negative energy, but a lot of kind of just like heavy energy today for you for some reason. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius here. I got Earth, I got um, Air as well. I think Judgment's usually like Scorpio or something. But um, 
But yeah, so I feel like that's what's going on. I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news here, but I feel like you're feeling kind of like you need it in something because something's not fair. Okay, Taurus, what song? Okay, me and a lot of like crazy music. Okay, so from Britney Spears to now we got um, Save Yourself by Stabbing Westward. Let me play it because I love this song. Okay, um, maybe you feel like you're just kind of sick of like helping other people. You're like, okay, maybe you've been having to help a friend here lately and you're just like, you know what, I, don't, I can't help you anymore. It's kind of what I get from the song. It's like you're kind of focusing on yourself here and you're like, you know what, I can't help you. Maybe this person wanted to like borrow money off of you or, and you're like, you know what, it's time to help yourself. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, you're just kind of like in a fed up energy with somebody. Ooh, shoot. Yeah, Six of Swords popped out. Wanted to walk away from something. Or, like, get to a better uh, path when it comes to something here. Okay. Let's see all overall energy for Taurus for today. Alright. Yeah, you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so it's like maybe you feel like someone's taking advantage of you and you can't. Like, you don't have much to offer yourself right now because you feel like maybe your finances are jacked up. Or, um, like, somebody maybe if you've helped somebody for so long that it's like they're taking everything from you and you feel like almost you're at the bottom here like you can't work your way up you know like you just maybe this person's taking a lot of your finances or um they made you feel like you have to give them almost everything you have and now it's like you feel like you have nothing okay like i said this is a general message i don't mean to be like negative but i don't know something told me i needed to make a video today I just have this energy where I was like, I need to film. So maybe you guys, this is stuff you guys need to hear. Maybe you need to hear this stuff, you know. Nobody else is saying it to you. So, all right. Why is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse for the overall energy for Taurus? All right. Got the Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody's, like, not speaking here. Or you could be, like, cutting communication when it comes to somebody. They could be in and out, like, not speaking to you. Seven of Wands. This makes you feel defensive here. Um, could be dealing with an Earth sign, an Air sign, Fire sign. Okay, you get the Four of Cups. Somebody's rejecting something here. I feel like you are like not wanting to focus on a person anymore and help them here because you just feel like you're being um, you just feel like you're being taken advantage of here. You're not wanting to speak to this person anymore. You just see this as like something you just don't want to deal with because maybe this person is like messing with you and taking all of your, what you have to give here. Maybe they're taking everything from you. You feel like if you keep having this person in your life, you're not going to have anything at all. Okay. Let's get advice for Taurus here. Keep an open mind. Okay. Chemistry. Could be a person too. Trust. Maybe you, uh, yeah, you really definitely have trust here. But um, I feel like maybe this is a person, like a new person you're dealing with or something. And it's like you just feel like maybe if you uh, continue with doing something or if you let this person continuously be in your life that they're just going to take you take everything from you okay let's see what sign for Taurus we dealing with I feel this has to do with like you just feel like something isn't fair could be dealing with a Libra here okay but I, mean, I got all the signs in your reading I got air I got fire I got water and I got earth here so could definitely be anybody here or it could be multiple people as well you could be feeling kind of like betrayed here lately when it comes to people around you. Okay, let's do Gemini. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Gemini <laughs> got the old song um, Obsession by In Emotion. Like, you're my obsession. Okay, so let me play it. I think it's the same one. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Okay. So, maybe Gemini's obsessed with somebody today. That's not good. Okay. Mm. I need more coffee for this. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, that's not good. Mm. All right. So, let's get some shuffles for Gemini here. Either you feel like you're being obsessed with somebody or somebody's obsessed with you or there's some kind of obsession with something. It doesn't have to be bad. Maybe it's just a person that you have your eye on. Maybe you... You started getting kind of obsessed, like, thinking about somebody a lot. Okay. Let's hope that's what it is. All right. Overall energy. Two of Pentacles. Okay. So, maybe you're making a decision here when it comes to somebody. I'm just going to do one shuffle. I feel like I'm shuffling a lot. 
So, shoot. Okay, two of pentacles here. It could be one with an earth sign. But it's like you're juggling somebody or juggling two people maybe. Okay, with the four of pentacles in reverse. I feel like there's a part of you maybe letting go of somebody here. But it's like that person's still kind of in your energy. Could be that you're like obsessing over somebody else maybe. With the fool in reverse. It's like you're still not really taking your chances though. Could be dealing with an air sign. As well, or not an air, an Aries, sorry. Um, Yeah, earth, air here. As well as a hierophant, it could have to do with a marriage or like religious factors or a Taurus. But I feel like you're maybe obsessing over the idea. Um, I feel like you're letting, okay, I feel like there's maybe two people here. Um, the one person you are, you're kind of just juggling them around, but the other person you like don't want to like, and I feel like it's somebody maybe you've been with for a while here with the full in reverse. It's not anything new. And maybe you see them as like, you're obsessed with the idea of like committing to this person and being like more of a higher commitment with them. Like maybe you see them as like somebody you want to have like kids with or married to. And maybe you're starting to obsess over the idea when it comes to marriage or, okay. All right, what advice do we have for Gemini here? Okay, unrequited love. So yeah, I feel like you are letting somebody go because there's not enough chemistry. Could be that there's two people and now you're taking somebody out and like telling them like, hey, not taking them out, but like <laughs> cutting them off basically and just saying, hey, sorry, you know, bye. Okay, flirt. So there could be a lot of flirting going on. Free yourself. So I feel like you are freeing yourself from somebody. With the Four of Pentacles in reverse, you're letting something go. But I feel like you're still stuck on the idea of somebody else here, though. Okay, like you're kind of weighing out your options with the Two of Pentacles. And then you realize you need to kind of end this here and not hold on to somebody anymore. Because I feel like you do have feelings for somebody else here. Alright, what sign could Gemini be dealing with here? Could be dealing with the Capricorn, because I did get a lot of Earth in here. As well as Taurus and then Aries. So, could be anybody. Alright, let's go ahead and do Cancer. Okay, so you got the song No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. So, that could be like a good energy. That means like you are like moving on from something here. Um, you could be like some kind of heartache or something. You're just kind of like done with it. You're not letting it get to you anymore. You're just moving on from something here that caused a lot of pain maybe. So, that's a good energy to have. But... Yeah, I feel like you're wanting to, like, move on and you're not letting something affect you anymore like you once did. Sorry, my back's itching. Okay. So, that's good here. Alright. So, overall energy for Cancer for the 20th today. Okay. Yeah, you get the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So, you're not wanting to, like, fight anymore with somebody or let this person maybe get to you as they once did. Um, you're just, I feel like you're wanting kind of like a breakthrough. You're wanting to like move on from things that happened and you just don't want to fight anymore or stress about it. Let me get more for today. I feel like you're just moving on from something here. Alright. What else is going on Wednesday the 20th for Cancer? Two of Pentacles. Could be juggling some, um, situation though. We're dealing with an earth sign or an air here. Three of wands in reverse. I feel like you're kind of weighing out your options, but you are walking away from something. Ace of swords in reverse. Because you just feel like if you walk away, there's not going to be any kind of conversation when it comes to this. Or you maybe have nothing else to say to this person. I feel like there are maybe still two people kind of like on your mind here. With the other person, you're just like, okay, there's nothing else to say to them. Maybe you feel like there's no point to say anything to them. And you're just like, I'm not going to worry about this or talk anymore. But I feel like you... You're giving, you're giving up on something here, but you're still kind of weighing out your options, maybe. Or you're trying to, it's like you're weighing out your options to see, like, kind of, like, what's going to be better for you. And I feel like if there is two people involved, it's going to be, like, the other person. You're going to feel like it's so much, like, better than, like, the other person you're dealing with. The other person, maybe they cause a lot of conflict, fighting, arguing. You feel like it's a lost cause. There's nothing left to say to them. You know, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and then I got that song, No Tears Left to Cry. It's like, you just feel like it's done, there's nothing else to say. And it's just, let's walk away in this kind of mood, you know? Alright, advice for Cancer. Finances and career. You could be juggling your job, too. It could be, maybe you're juggling, um, yeah, I feel like maybe you could be um, juggling your finances, too. Or, it's like you're, maybe you have two children or something like that, make the effort... 
children. Yeah, like I said, I feel like children are kind of a factor of it too. Maybe um, you want to focus on yourself because of your children. But I feel like you're walking away from somebody here. Maybe you have kids with that person and you feel like it's just caused a lot of conflict. And you don't want to like, you're only going to maybe speak to them if it's about, you know, efforts when it has to do with the children. But you're not going to make anything other than that. I don't see any like loving cards or anything here. I think you're just, you know, like the situation's over. Okay, but it's like you're moving on from it. But you could have kids with this person. That's what makes it where you still have communication. But anything like to do with like love, I feel like it's over. Okay, what sign could you be dealing with here? Could we deal with a Libra? Okay, because then I got air and I got pentacles here. I got strong air and, and earth here. So, could be any of these signs. So, this reading's kind of dragging out. I'm trying to be more in detail here. Okay, now we got um, Leo. Okay, so you got the song Connected by Stereo MCs. That's a good one. It's a classic. Um, It could be like maybe you're trying to speak to somebody like in a connection but you feel like something's not right because that's what they say in here let me see hmm. yeah i feel like you're maybe in a connection with somebody and you feel like something's not right and you want to speak to this person but it's like you're falling like i don't know i feel like maybe the situation is causing you just to feel like you're kind of like not sure what to do so you could be dealing with, like, a connection. Like, make sure, like, I mean, it's probably not about love, but I'm getting out of the song. Like, it could be, like, you know, make sure this is a connection before you put all of your hope into stuff and, you know, maybe end up losing something here. Like, make sure this is what you want. Okay, so let's see. Overall energy today for Leo. I feel like it's, like, you want to make sure, like, this is, like, the right thing to do. The Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. It's, like, you're not really... You feel like something's, you're, like, moving on from something. You're not really upset or feeling, like, regretful about something here. And it could have been, like, you just feel like maybe it wasn't, something wasn't right. And that's what they say in the song. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I feel like you kind of realize something's not going good here. And you want to make sure, like, before maybe you fall in love with somebody, make sure that you guys had a connection, maybe. Okay, I'm just putting love spins on it, but it could be it. All right, let's get more. All right, with the strength, it's like you want to find your inner strength after all this. You want to make sure, and this is your card too, so you want to find like yourself maybe after this here with the five of cups in the reverse. Yeah, like overall, like you got that twice here. So I feel like you really aren't showing any remorse or regret here. Three of wands in reverse, you know something's over. Could we deal with the water sign as well as a fire sign here? Um, but I feel like you know something's over and there's no point to continue something here. You just want to work on yourself and find your own strength again through something here. This is a pretty like easy reading okay so the first card is is safe for you to love for your advice that came out let go of control issues so yeah like letting go here as well as let your friends help you so you could be at this point where you really need your friends right now to talk to you so you can find your inner strength over something you've been through because it could have caused you a lot of pain in the past the stuff that you've been through it's like you were like at a crossroads or you kind of we're like stuck like I feel like you were like walking through mud or something like you're just really in a stuck energy here and it's like you have to find yourself after all this here all right let's see what sign you could be dealing with I definitely get like Pisces yep I said I knew I was before the card fell out I was like I just have a feeling you're dealing with the Pisces here which I did I did get two uh, cups uh, yeah two cups and then I got two of the fire cards so yeah you definitely could be dealing with the Pisces Leo Okay, I feel like you really need, you're trying to just move on from something and not let it affect you like it once did. Okay, Virgo. Okay, so this is another old one, but okay, so in sync. It's uh, it makes me ill by in sync. Okay, so maybe you are like you're like hanging out with your friends here or. You're in a situation where you like run into an ex person of your life and then you never realize that it hurt you and so you see them with somebody else here. And it could have been with the holidays, maybe or even like with Valentine's Day coming up, maybe you thought you're over this person and now it's like you see them out in public with somebody else and you're like, Oh shoot. I guess that pain's not over, you know. Could even just be here recently, this could happen. Okay. Let's get more into it. But I feel like it's maybe you 
thought you were over a person and then you found out like you kind of aren't once you see them happy it's like oh man all right overall energy is a justice in reverse could be dealing with a libra but something isn't balanced here or it could be that like you guys didn't have that final like justice when you guys broke up if this is excuse me if this is a relationship or a person that you dated i feel like you guys didn't have that clarity you guys didn't have like you you guys didn't leave on a good note, like, basically. Let me get more into it. I feel like something was just very unfair. With the sun in reverse, this caused a lot of unhappiness here. Could be doing with Leo as well. Nine of Wands in reverse, so it's like you felt... Like, maybe you, like... Um, maybe you were very open to this person. With the High Priestess in reverse, I feel like you, uh... You were very, like, maybe, like, opened your walls to this person and... You know, this person just basically just made you unhappy. And it's like you just can't trudge um, your judgment when it comes to this person. Could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Um, but I feel like something here caused a lot of negativity because something wasn't resolved. Like, nothing was resolved in this. Um, it could have been like your person didn't trust their intuition. Like, maybe they didn't see that they did anything wrong. It could be in their self. Maybe they felt like they didn't do anything wrong. They felt like they didn't have a reason to apologize. Okay. The advice that I get, though... Okay, romantic feelings. So obviously there are still feelings here. That's why, you know, you feel like this is unfair because you obviously still have feelings here. And let your friends help you. So maybe you need, you're not trusting your intuition when it comes to this person. Or trusting, like, what to do in the situation. You just feel like it's very unfair and happy, but you're not sure what to do. So you need your friends here. Religious factors as well. Maybe it could have been, like, um, could have been maybe, like, a marriage too. Like, religious factors. Like, maybe you guys were married or... Um, that was kind of what messed up your guys' relationship was differences because of religion. Okay, what sign could they be dealing with here? What sign could you be dealing with? Sorry. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius Leo. Because I did get two fire cards in here. I got the Sun, which is Leo. Nine of Wands. I also got Libra and then Pisces. So, could be any of these people here. This is just a daily energy, so. Alright, let's go ahead and do Libra. Okay, so I got the song. This is an old one, too. I have all kinds of random stuff on here. I got the song Here I Go Again by White Snake. This is an old one. Okay. So it could be like you're moving on from something on your own here. And you could be like leaving a relationship or um, finally on your own. Maybe you just turned 18 and you're wanting to like be on your own here. And it could be like you're traveling or you're just finally like experiencing the world, you know. Or you could be, like, going back to, like, another road of heartbreak here, okay? So, the overall energy, yeah, the four of cups in reverse. It's like you're, um, we don't have the water sign, but it's like you're realizing, like, the missed opportunities in your life today. You're realizing, like, you're in the same, you know, think about, like, what would have, like, been, like, what would have been, um, happening for you if you would have stayed in the same direction, if you wouldn't have went down the same road, if you would have done something else, like, what difference could it have in your life maybe maybe you feel like there's a lot of missed opportunities in your life here and you just feel like you're just go making the same mistakes you know it's missing the same opportunities because you're scared maybe all right let's get more into it i'm getting super into these readings three of pentacles i feel like you want something to come back or you want something to um return in your life to collaborate or you want just the a situation maybe back in your life here with the Empress in reverse, could be doing like wanting to like take more care of yourself here as well. Maybe you want this person back because this person helps you feel stable. Okay, with the Two of Wands, it's like you're kind of stuck here. I feel like I feel like you feel like you're going down like the same road when maybe you're taking the same road traveled instead of going a different direction. And it's like when it comes to love, maybe and maybe you're in situations where you just don't feel like you're loved. Or you're not, like, taking care of the way you want to. Because you're making the same decision. Maybe you're making, going down the same path with the same kind of people and not choosing somebody different. I feel like here maybe, you know, you need to kind of see your options, you know. Kind of, uh, maybe you're not, I feel like you're missing opportunities because you're making the same mistakes over and over again. You know. And that's what's causing you to feel like you're not loved here and stuck. It's because you're going down the same, you know, road. What advice we have for Libra? Forgiving and learning. Yeah, you need a lot of forgiveness, and you have to learn from your mistakes. I feel like here. 
safe for you to love. Maybe you're like choosing the wrong people that's not showing you any attention or love here. Getting to know each other. Okay. So I feel like you need to kind of go down a different path, you know, like maybe go after people you never would have chose before. Because you need that. I feel like you want the stability with this person or somebody. You really want to just be loved and have, you know, where you feel like you're taken, you know, care of. It's like what you're giving to the people you want given to you. Okay. Could we deal with another Libra here? Because I think the Empress is the Libra card. As well as I got fire, I got water, and I got earth. So it could be anybody. But I feel like you are thinking really today, like with the song that played, I think you're thinking really like. You know, like, what would have been, how life would have been different if I would have chose a different path. You know, it's like you're making, because in the song, it's like you're going down the same road. It's like going down the road I've ever known. So maybe it could be in a relationship, you're dealing with the same person over and over, and you just don't feel stable when it comes to this person. Alright, let's go ahead and do Scorpio. Oh, that's funny. Okay, the song played for Scorpio was Something New by Wiz Khalifa. So that's kind of... Ironic. Okay, so maybe you could be dealing with somebody new in your life here. Something you've never experienced. So that's kind of a change in energy. Going from something kind of sad and heavy to something new happening. So that's good here. Okay. Let me get one more shuffle. And this video is going to be kind of long. I'm sorry. I'm getting kind of into detail for everybody because I feel like before in my videos I used to be very quick and wouldn't really be elaborate with my videos because I used to film on my iPhone and it would kill my battery if I did so much videos and stuff but I got this iPad now with my stimulus so like here you go you see more of me now okay overall energy for Scorpio today got the moon in reverse okay so there could be maybe something new coming here uh, could be dealing with like a Pisces or a Cancer but um I feel like there's something new coming, but it's like you don't trust it for some reason. Maybe you're dealing with something new, and you feel like this person's just going to be very secretive, or um, maybe that this person's not really showing their true feelings, whatever you're dealing with here. Let's get more into it, though. Okay. Not too many cards. Let me see. Okay, so we got the Eight of Cups in reverse. So it could be that you're like wanting to come back around to somebody here because there's a lot of love. Or, like, you don't want to detach emotions and you want to come back around. But maybe you don't trust the situation with the Ten of Swords, okay? So you can be dealing with a water sign or air. Maybe this person, you feel like if you come back around and give this a shot, maybe a new chance with this person that they're just going to backstab you with the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, yeah, I feel like you, feel like if you maybe come back around with this person and try maybe something new with them again, that you feel like you're going to, like, lose your... <laughs> this is terrible. You're going to lose your money... Okay, maybe this person is, like, known to, like, taking your money or they kind of um, always ask to borrow money. But I feel like you feel like if you come back around to this person and maybe give it a new shot, like, a new chance, um, you feel like you're just going to be taken advantage of in some way. Like, this person's going to take from you more than giving. And it could be, like, you're still maybe you're um, making a decision. You're, like, thinking about this person, but it's, like, the emotions are still there and you're thinking, well... Should I, you know, still do, should I still have this person in my life or should I maybe try something new with somebody else? Maybe that could be it too. Okay, what advice do we have for Scorpio? Alright, free yourself. Free yourself. So yeah, I feel like I'm not trying to laugh. It's just it's so like the reading's like very like head on with the cards. Like I pull something and then like the card that I say is like coming out and it's like, yeah, exactly. Um, I feel like you need to, yeah, to end something here. You need to free yourself. Okay, keep an open mind. Just like you need to be more truthful or think more about this person. Like, is this with your with an open mind? I feel like you need to think. Okay, like be, you know, realistic here. Like, if I give this person a shot, you know, what have they done to me in the past? Like, is this even gonna be worth it? You know. But then also like not jump to conclusions either. I don't know. Cause then playfulness. So at this point, I would just be really hesitant when it comes to you know, letting people that have screwed you over in your life again. It's like if they screwed you over once, they're going to do it again, you know? Let's see what sign Scorpio could be dealing with. I feel bad that this reading is, like, so negative. Like, I wasn't trying to be negative. I was all, you know, energized in my coffee, ready to go, and it's like, ugh. Everybody's dealing with something today. 
or could be could be doing the Gemini all right because I got water I got earth and I got air here so it could be a Gemini you're dealing with or that could be a Gemini coming into your life it could be any of these here okay I'm kind of scared now I'm doing Sagittarius I'm kind of scared because everybody else is, is like crappy so okay all right oh ooh, okay so we got this on Terry <laughs> tear you apart by she wants revenge so this could be like something sexual happening for you Sagittarius okay could be this so that's better energy so this could be like you're with somebody and it's like I don't know maybe you just want to like rip their clothes off <laughs> I don't mean to be so like PG-13 but it's like uh so a lot of maybe like sexual energy or something I don't usually talk about this on my channel but that song just played and it's like ooh. I'll play it real quick if you guys haven't heard it um I actually found this song it was on um, American Horror Story the one with Lady Gaga the hotel where like they like eat those people <laughs> okay I love this song hold on okay so this could be somebody that you have a lot of like maybe passion with or a person that you really um you could be having you know this kind of stuff going on with somebody okay high priestess in reverse is the overall energy though could be on the pisces or a cancer here um but maybe you're just kind of not trusting your intuition when it comes to this person but i feel like with that song playing like there is like a lot of maybe emotions and like you guys feel like you guys can just have fun together and you like I don't know, this is, it's, it's giving me, like, cold chills, because it's, like, feels accurate to me. Okay, so, let's get more into it, but yeah, I feel like, maybe you're dealing with somebody that you really have a strong, like, sexual energy for. Okay, with the Knight of Cups in reverse, yeah, it could be dealing with the water sign, maybe you're kind of, kind of impatient when it comes to this person. Uh, maybe you've kind of waited around for them for a while and you're kind of impatient. Let me get more into it. With the Four of Pentacles, but you're still holding on to this person. Could be a person um, that you're dealing with. Like, you guys have a really, maybe like a sex-based connection. And you're like waiting around for love. Or you feel like you're getting kind of impatient when it comes to the love aspect. You just still want to hold on to this person. The Seven of Wands. You feel kind of defensive when it comes to this person. Like, maybe you're not really trusting your judgment when it comes to them. But it's like you're still holding them on because holding on to them because you see something with them. Okay, it could be like you guys have a strong like connection. So you're kind of keeping them around, but you're not really sure if like you're getting kind of impatient when it comes to the love aspect. You're kind of like, okay, I don't really know if this is going to happen. Or you feel like you have your guard up and you don't know whether or not to have this happen here. All right, let's get some advice though. So past life relationship could be a person that you've had like you feel as your soulmate like a person you want to have success here with that's why you're still holding on to them but you're still kind of it's like you're keeping them like close to you but also kind of at a distance too it's like you're kind of scared to open up because maybe this person's kind of hurt you in the past or they made it seem like something was coming sooner than what it was with like a relationship or something but I feel like there's a lot of love here. Getting to know each other. Maybe you still guys, you guys have to still get to know each other. Maybe it started off as like a sex-based connection. Forgiving and learning. Okay. Maybe you guys are starting to get to know more about each other. And like what you guys want here. But I feel like if there was stuff that happened, you guys are starting to like maybe forgive each other. And learn from your mistakes. But yeah, this is like somebody you would love to have passionate like stuff with here. I feel like this is a person that you... I feel like there is a lot of emotions here, though. Alright, what sign could you be dealing with? Could be dealing with Gemini, okay? As well as I got water here. I got earth and I got fire. So it could be any of these signs. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what song's playing for you. Ooh, okay. Sorry, it's like every time it's like a good song and then the next one's like... Okay, you got down on a whole vows and chains. Oh, God. And that makes me so sad. Like, that's why I'm just like, ugh. Because, like, my friend, he's a Capricorn. And he l just lost his dad the other day. So that's why I'm like, oh, my God. This makes me sad that the song played and I'm doing this reading. And it's like, ugh. God. So, oh, God. That's, ew. I don't want to cry. Oh, my God. Okay, so. But I feel like you guys are just down in a hole right now. Like, honestly. You guys are just, like, really... Maybe you guys are dealing with things real emotionally right now, like a lot of heaviness on your soul. 
Uh, maybe like things from last year are still triggering you. Uh, maybe there's still never been uh, things from last year since we got the new year. Maybe things are like not resolving from last year or you're dealing with the same stuff from last year. And it's just weighing you down. You just feel like you're stuck and you just don't know what to do here. All right. That's overall energy for Capricorn today, the 20th. Okay, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You could be, like I said, not really feeling good about yourself right now. Could have to also do with, um, like, your finances, too. Maybe you just feel like you're stuck. Like, you don't really have much to offer right now. Or you're not really taking good care of yourself. Maybe you're mentally distrained. All right. Like, you're not focusing on work because you're just so stressed. Okay, let's see. All right, High Priestess. Could we do with the Cancer of Pisces here? And I feel like you're really using your intuition. We're doing a lot of thinking with the six of wands. You're trying to see like how you can have success here or vision success with the hangman, but you're stuck here. I feel like you're stuck in a situation. Like you're down in a hole basically. Like you're wanting to like have something better happen. You want something victorious, but it's like you're just like not motivated to do anything. Let's get advice. It could be just like really with that song, like you could be really down in a hole just crying and upset. Honeymoon, so maybe you need to like spend holiday time with somebody or um, maybe treat yourself and do something fun for yourself here. Chemistry as well. Stay optimistic about your love life. Maybe you have a connection with somebody and you feel like it's not going the way you want and you also feel like kind of stuck when it comes to this. Maybe you guys made plans and it's like nothing's coming of it. Okay, let's get a card to see what signs we're dealing with. Could we deal with an earth sign as well? Okay. I also get water strongly and also fire. So it could be any of these signs here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a different one. Now let's do Aquarius. <laughs> okay. You guys got crazy trained by Ozzy Osbourne. Eee. So maybe you guys are kind of um, not really going crazy, but maybe you guys are starting to kind of just unleash something here. Maybe you guys are... Um, Maybe things feel kind of hectic and crazy for you right now. That could be it as well. Or you feel like you're trapped and like your mind is like going to a million different places. I know that's kind of how I feel because my moon sign is in Aquarius and that's usually how my emotions are. So I just feel sometimes kind of like stuck like, oh, what do I do? You know? All right. Overall energy. High Priestess. Okay. Cancer of Pisces here. I feel like you're trusting your... um using your intuition a lot here lately and that could be why you feel like you're going crazy maybe you're doing a lot of overthinking um analyzing situations a lot here and you just feel like you're driving yourself nuts maybe <laughs> i could relate to that okay so we got the tower in reverse i feel like something still hasn't ended here and it's like you're using your intuition could be the person two of wands um a lot of stuck energy Okay, the Ten of Wands re reverse. You're letting something go, some th something that feels like burden. You're just like letting off your shoulders, but it's like something still hasn't ended. It could be a crossroad with a person. Maybe you're still kind of stuck, kind of what to do. Uh, maybe something didn't end with somebody here. But I feel like you're using your tuition a lot lately or doing a lot of thinking. Okay, what sign could you be dealing with? Or not sign, what advice do we have for Aquarius? I feel like you're doing like a lot of thinking about something that hasn't ended, or you're making a decision whether or not to end something here. Okay, new love, as well as finances and career. That could be some of it, or we may need to focus on that here. Heart to heart conversations. Okay, maybe you're wondering whether or not you should have this um, conversation with somebody or come towards them. Okay, let's see what sign you could be dealing with. But I feel like you do have maybe a couple, maybe you have two options. So I got new love and then heart to heart conversation. So maybe you have to end something first. Could be dealing with a Libra or, ooh, I got two cards. Of, okay, so Libra or Capricorn. So maybe that's what each sign is here. Um, I also got fire as well and Pisces and Cancer and I think Scorpio. But um, maybe like you have two people you're dealing with and you have to kind of think in a situation like what you want to do, like what you want to end here or... Um, if you want to continue something. Okay, let's do Pisces. Okay, I got this on Shape of You by Ed Sheeran for you. So that's cute. Okay. 
So I feel like maybe there's somebody here, um, you're dealing with somebody and they just love everything about you. So it could be a person they like don't care like what you look like or um, like how you dress. They just love everything about you from head to toe. There's a person that truly cares about you maybe. Or you just feel very loved by somebody here. You just feel like someone's sincere. Someone actually has emotions for you. Okay, so that's better reading. Let me finish this. All right, overall energy for Pisces for today. Okay, you got the seven of, or the eight of Pentacles. So you're feeling motivated. Maybe when it comes to your finances, or you feel like you're um, dealing with somebody who you want to invest in, somebody you see long term, maybe, or something you can build with this person. You have an Earth sign here. Let's get more into it. Okay, we got the hair thing. Could be seen like a marriage with this person. Could be a Taurus. Okay, eight of swords. You're like in your head a lot about this person. Three of wands in reverse. Um, you could be not really giving up, but you're kind of um, not really sure what direction to go. You're kind of in a stuck energy when it comes to this. It's like you see this person as someone you want to invest in, but it's like you're stressing a lot about something here. Or it could have been with somebody else. Like maybe you're kind of stuck on something. But I feel like you see somebody as like a potential. You're just really kind of stressed. Like what if maybe it's the right direction that you're taking. What advice? You got trust. Okay. So I would say just use your intuition and trust what you feel is right with retreat. Maybe you guys need to disconnect. Or um, maybe you guys need to go somewhere together and talk about it. Heart to heart conversation. Yeah. I feel like you guys need to maybe go like al like somewhere alone and like talk about how you feel because I feel like once you guys do that this could be a situation where you don't feel like something's clear or you just don't really have like all the answers you need but I feel like once you like disconnect is uh, maybe go to an area where there's not a lot of people and talk to this person um, things will be more balanced and you'll get like, kind of more of a clear headset here okay could we deal with a cancer that one to pop out as well as an earth sign here but um, I feel like you need to have this talk with somebody long term about what's going on and like how to maybe see like kind of where it comes from there, okay? So I hope you all enjoy this reading. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down below if this helps you in any way. If this resonates, I'd like to know. So I hope you all have a wonderful day.